Alright, this is the video we've all been waiting for, so here we got the Lasco 9 inch oscillating dust fan model 2154. This one, I believe, is a model from between 88 to 1991. Um, not exactly sure what year it is, but I mean, um, this does not have a hook on the top like other ones did. This one actually um, has the pinholes on the sides of the grill. Um, this was recently bought from OfferUp for five bucks. This is actually my second Lasco 2154 I had. The last one was a version from, I believe, of 94 to 95. Um, that one was in very bad condition, all, the entire thing pretty much. Um, the base was pretty much shaving off, and uh, I repainted the entire thing, but it then fell, and I was very disappointed because, I mean, that was the only one, and these fans, they're very, very hard to find. Um, but I'm glad to find this one, and this one was only for five bucks, so I couldn't help and resist. This one is in very good shape, actually. The blade is still intact. Um, I, the badge right there. This is the older style Lasco logo right there. And also the base is in very good shape and it even has the switch knob right here. The other one didn't have it. Um, this guard knob right there, it's not original. It had to be replaced because this one broke somehow. Um, this one had a crack. Um, Snap-on um, oscillator engager. Um, it's quite strange on how this is this is not screwed on. Um, but I mean, sometimes Lasco produces some weird products. Um, but yeah, no sort of day code or anything all, uh, anywhere on the fan. But I assume this is from between eighty-eight to ninety-one. Um, one spoke of the grill broke off here. Um, but yeah, everything's in good shape except with the motor cover. Um, this was very yellowed when I got it. And it, this part cannot be saved at all. This, this, the deterioration was just very severe. And it's very evident. Especially when you take a look at the right at the the side where you're supposed to hold it in you could just see how deep that deterioration layer goes you can even see that some of the markings um they actually go through not sure how long this was there in the sun for it but i would have say like a, a very good long time so this part is done for pretty much but otherwise the rest of it is not in very bad shape it's um very decent condition so information is on the bottom i'm not sure if that's actually the day code but um so type 9 style 5 8 120 volts 60 hertz 0.80 amps List of 154C so, and non polarized plug. So we're going to turn this one on now. So let's start with the high. And this fan is quite a decent air mover. I'm not even joking. For a small fan, this is quite. This is very, very good. Sure, it's noisy. I mean, I don't expect to be quiet, but at least it's a better performer compared to those um, Holmes Blizzard fans. This fan also has a very drastic change in speed. Uh, the low speed is actually quiet and it still moves a good breeze. 
the oscillation function on most of these fans, um, they seem to have issues though. Um, every time it turns to one side, it tends to slow down and it's the case on this fan once it turns to its left. So let me demonstrate that. So I think it might have to do with something with the type of oscillator bracket, the oscillator rod. But yeah, I could hear it slow down every time it turns to the left. I'm not sure if you could hear it. But I think you'll be able to hear it more on high speed, so let me turn it back to the high. Yeah, as you can hear, it tends to slow down a bit. Um, I think there is like a, a straining point back there. Not sure exactly how how much, but it's there all right. It's slowing the fan down. And that seems to be the issue with these fans, and even to the Air King fans, which are still sold today. Um, So I might have to take a look into that, but um, I'm going to turn it off now. It's a very good spin down, especially for a smaller blade. So there you have it. That's the last skill 9 inch oscillating table fan model 2154 from the late 80s or early 90s. If you like the video, please like and share. Also comment down below and tell me your opinion on this fan. And until the next video, thanks for watching.